Okay, first thing is why why do we care? Why do we why do we care about SWIP? Why is it important to us? How many of you guys in the summer like to go out and kayak? How many of you? No? Mike? Not a ton? <laughs> I like to kayak and you guys like to go fishing. You guys like to play in any kind of water. You like to spend time around water at all. I think that is the big overarching goal here. Sometimes we get caught in the minutia of okay, well, this is the requirement. This is what I have to do. This is, this is how I have to keep up with this. This is, But if we focus on the goal, really, there's nobody, I don't think, or I, I hope not, there's nobody that doesn't agree that we want to have clean water, right? Everybody, to some extent, is like, okay, yeah, we, we don't want to have, we don't want every water body in Utah to be like Utah Lake. Right? Utah has these amazing reservoirs. We like them. We want to play in them. Um, we don't want them to look like Utah Lake, right? So that is the overarching reason why we care about this kind of stuff. Now, why do our clients really care about this stuff? They really care about this stuff because if they don't do it, they can get fines, they can get consent decrees, they can get shut down, their sites can get shut down, right? So if they don't follow these regulations, that's what happens to them. They lose money. And money, money it, it, they care more about the money probably than they do about the water as, as a business, as an individual, maybe not, but as a business, right, they probably care about that stuff more. So some examples of fines. Uh, they can get pretty steep pretty quick, right? If you come down here to Compec in Salt Lake City, $1.8 million fine for dumping illicitly polluting uh, a nearby water body, right? Uh, but they range, spans the gamut, right? Um, anywhere from $19,000 up to $1.8 million uh, it can get pretty expensive, pretty pricey, pretty fast. Now, a lot of times, for, for especially for construction companies, for contractors, it's not even the fines that are the worst thing for them. Uh, they might get fined $1,000 and say, okay, well, whatever, it's a $1,000 fine. Okay, got it. Here, I'm going to pay you, I'm going to move on. But if they get shut down, if they get a stop work order and their site gets shut down for a day, that costs them a ton. They still have to pay those subs that they had hired to come out to that site. They still have to you know, maintain all of their stuff. So a shutdown, a stop work order can be even more costly to our clients than a fine in a lot of cases. And that's kind of what they are, you know, worried about more so than just the, the monetary numbers there.